I can't tell you how much it means to me and the rest of the guys in the Oswego Fire Department. Um, you know, I think you know why we're here. Uh, we're here because, uh, you know, the mayor proposed a budget that's going to balance a million dollars on the fire department's backs. It calls for 15 layoffs, 15 guys that clean out their, their boot locker and they go home. Um, he says it's not going to cut public safety, but when you cut a department by 27%, I don't know that that's that hard to argue with. We're already, uh, we run 10 guys, we run pretty short. Um, obviously it's in our nature to do with what we have the best we can, and that's what we're doing. Um, we hope that uh, we can sit down with them, we can get with the council, they can sharpen their pencils, and they can uh, lessen the effects to the one department that's going to suffer in this whole thing. I don't, uh, I don't envy them. They can't raise taxes in this town. We get that. But there's got to be a better way than sending 16 of some of the best guys and gals I know home. So I want you to continue your support. For the guys that are on the chopping block, I want you to know that it's what we do is we don't give up. You know, these last couple days, I felt like we were in a fire minus the flames in the building. Because the way you guys have stepped up, supported each other, makes me proud to be here and proud to represent this union. Yeah.